Hi introverts, welcome in or welcome back. How are you today? I'm doing fine. In today's video, I will be doing a quick little SRWE tutorial for those of you who want your picture qualities to look like this. So without further ado, I'm going to hop right on into it because I, if y'all know me, y'all know by now, I do not like long intros. So I'm going to try to make this video as quick as possible and also doing it step by step to where you guys, you know, understand what I'm doing. All right. So I hopped right into my web browser and then I searched SRWE Sims 4 and you should see github.com. It'll say releases and SRWE GitHub. You're going to click that and then you don't have to scroll too much it should be right here you'll go to assets and click on srwe 236.zip and then it should appear in your downloads folder and from there i'm just going to show you guys an example it'll say srwe you're going to double click on that and if there's a pop-up that says yes or no you're going to click yes it's a safe download i promise nothing's gonna happen to your computer so once you double click on that you should get a pop-up that looks like this and then you're going to click select running application the first thing that should pop up should be the sims 4 if not scroll through this list and look for ts4 and then yeah so click open and then as you can see it opened my game right away and from here i always click remove borders just so it makes the picture come out way better and it'll stretch it out a little bit more all of this looks very confusing trust me i've been in some of your shoes but it is not hard at all i'm gonna show you why all right so after you click remove borders and i will say really quickly if you use relight make sure that it's not too bright because if it is the picture since it zooms into your sims the relight will be really really bright so try not to have those lights like extremely bright <laughs> all right so now you're going to come in this first box that says window position and size and you're going to go to width i like to do mine between 3000 to 4000 depending on what type of pc you have i would stay between 2000 to 3000 i think my pictures look really good on 4000 i haven't tried 6000 so you know what we're gonna try 6000 today so i'm gonna put it 6000 by 6000 and then here you're gonna click set it's going to remove the g-shade for a second or reshade whichever one you're using it will load in just give it a few seconds and once it does that i'm going to click h center and what that's going to do is it's going to put the focus right on my sim and if it's not where i want it i can h center and it'll show like I don't know how to explain it <laughs> but basically this just allows you to position it to where you would like the picture to focus on so i know it's close and zoomed up on her boobs but it's not going to be a picture of her boobs <laughs> you guys will see in a second let me actually okay i'm gonna click up top and once that's set i'm gonna close that out and i'm going to push down on my screenshot button which is for me it's alt zero I have mine through my G-Shade settings, so each, you know, screenshot will be different. Do not use snipping tool to screenshot because then it'll just be a zoomed in picture like this. You have to actually use the screenshot that's in your like shaders and stuff. All right, and then after that, I click Alt Tab on the keyboard and I go to taskbar mode so that it brings it back to normal size. And I'm gonna go into the folder that that picture should be in. Now, here's an example of why I say don't have your reshade light really bright. This is why. So I'm going to go back in and I'm actually going to turn that down a lot and I'm going to redo that picture. And then don't take the picture right away. As you guys can see, my sim is still blurry. So as you can see, she is starting to clear up a bit, but in the background, you can see that it's still doing its work or whatever in a way i know this screenshot is going to turn out good because it doesn't look too bright on her forehead and stuff and see it is still a little bright over here but it's not as bright but it takes a little trial and error when it comes to relight and as you can see when i zoom in like i am 800 percent zoomed in 
it's barely pixelated. Whereas if I were to take a regular screenshot, I'm actually gonna show you guys what a regular screenshot would look like. And don't get me wrong, the picture is still really clear, really pretty, but you guys see how it gets pixelated? Let me bring the other picture out so you guys can get a side by side. All right, so you see I'm like zoomed in. 80, this is only 80% this is zoomed in at 500 percent. so let me go to 80 that's 80 percent there this is 80 percent here do you guys see how clear and crisp that is like 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 guys like 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 look at this like okay this is zoomed out i, I will have to go back in and fix that relight because i don't like that and yes yeah, she has little hickeys on her neck guys it's for my storyline on twitter okay <laughs> Um, but look, look at the side by side comparison. Like, 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 be free, like, like, oh, like, it doesn't get no better than this. But yeah. So that is why I love that I was in very invested in learning how to use SRWE because it is a life changer. As you guys can see, I am always taking pictures of my Sims. Like, look how beautiful this picture is it just makes you want to take pictures of your sims because of how beautiful it comes out so now i'm going to show you guys how to take screenshots for if you want a thumbnail what i'm going to do now is go to scale and instead of one i'm going to change this to three all i'm going to do is click set h center i'm going to let this get focused on my sim and blur out the background make sure it's all the way loaded in just so you can get the best results in the end all right i think it's just about ready i'm gonna click alt zero which is my screenshot key on my shader settings i'm gonna alt tab and go back into task mode i'm gonna open the folder that the screenshots go into and as you guys can see um i'm not sure if it's thumbnail size i'm gonna show you guys how to make it exactly the thumbnail size because i've realized that when i went to go put this in the thumbnail section when i was done with the video because i didn't put no words or anything i just put it straight into the thumbnail section or whatever it said it was too large so i'm gonna show you guys a way to make it smaller but you guys get the point like it let's zoom into her nails look at how crisp this is but i'm going to go ahead and go into my editing software where i not editing software but where i edit my thumbnails this is canva it has not done me any wrong and i don't use the pro version i am really thinking about switching over to the pro version because i use it so much and the pro version provides you with so much more options but for now i'm just going to stick to the plain jane and i'm going to use the regular version so from here i'm going to click on youtube thumbnail because it automatically sets the size that you need i'm going to go to uploads upload files and from here i'm going to click on the picture that i would want to use for the thumbnail and i'm going to drag it literally right like that and it's going to place it perfectly where i want it then i if i want it i could edit and stuff and then i would go to file and download and when you do that it should pop up in your downloads folder and from there you can put that into the section where it says youtube thumbnail before you post your video i hope that makes sense but yes you guys that is all for the tutorial i hope that it was easy for you that was the only way that made sense to me and it has helped me in the long run i have not stopped using srwe since i figured out how to use it and it has seriously been a game changer and life changer in my opinion um i think you guys all should use srwe if you are a content creator it will have your quality of the pictures be 10 times better you know everyone loves good quality things i hope you guys enjoyed and found this video helpful let me know if i can help you guys out with anything else and if you guys have any suggestions leave them in the comments below i am very open and interested in doing videos based on what you would like to see so yeah thank you for stopping by if you want to stay tuned with me leave a like a nice comment and subscribe to see more from me to stay up to date make sure you are keeping eye on my community post because i do post there on their often i'm gonna get back active on tiktok 
okay i really i'm trying to learn how to get back active um i'm working on several projects at once so that is why i've been inactive and i'm so sorry so 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 sorry for that i am working on you know figuring out a schedule but i'm always booked and busy i feel like my life is so freaking chaotic <laughs> anyways i'll see you guys in the next one bye